Okay, hello everybody. It is time for a banjo race. I have uh, some big shoes to fill here because GDO always does such a good job hosting everything all by himself. Uh, but today you have me, Snoopy, in charge. And I just realized that Schlongster and Xenernicus's names are cut off because Discord's in streamer mode, but <laughs> they are here. Uh, how are you guys feeling today? Feeling good, you know, I'm ready. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm excited. I've been practicing. I know slunkster has been practicing. Actually, he like pushed me to do more practice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, I'm pushing, I'm motivating people. Yeah, he motivated me. That Let's is go. the the benefit of the tournament, right? You get that, that little extra bit of, oh, I have a deadline now. <laughs> I yeah. have to improve by this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, you know what I didn't check before starting? was your PBs. I think that my Xenernicus one, is that? Correct on my end. Okay, right. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> uh, Schlong's is, yeah, 44, 21. Okay, all good then. Um, yeah, so race time. Are you guys pretty much ready to go? Yeah, yes. um, whose audio are we using, by the way? That's a good question. Um, let me get that sorted. I just I realized. I have my mic off on my own. If you have your mic off, we'll be using Xenernicus then. Your voices yeah. will be coming through, but that won't okay. matter. It, well, well, I'll move you guys on. off before I yeah. unmute then. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Um, I'll count down from three and we'll go on go. And, uh, mm -hmm. and you'll have a great race. All right. Let's go. All right. Yeah, so let's three. Do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Good luck. Good luck. And uh, oh, that's and me. You'll have a great race. <laughs> All right. Let's yeah. go. All right. So three. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> three, two, one, go. Okay. Good luck. You know what? It works. <laughs> I got to use myself to time. <laughs> All right, off to the races. I might turn uh, this up a little oh, bit. that's me. <laughs> yep, okay. We should all be good now. <laughs> yeah, no one, two, three, go. Not this time. Um, yeah, so no no tragedy this time with Klongo cutscene skip, thankfully. Uh, let me get this over. Here. There we go. Now I'm watching the same stuff you guys are. Um, yeah, so first thing in the race is what potions do they get? I think this should be a pretty, pretty good one to watch. Um, like they said before the race, they've both been practicing. Also, I'm gonna. Xenernicus is still really quiet. I'm gonna turn. We're gonna go past 100%. We're at a 125% now <laughs> in VLC. Hopefully it's audible. Um, I hope everybody in chat is doing good today. Um, we got a, a blue potion and a blue potion, which is a pretty good way to start. Yep. But at least we both got blue. What will be interesting to see is... Yeah, yeah, no, they're both, uh, both gonna play it safe, because... Because... <laughs> It's pretty much a, a coin, well, maybe not a coin flip, but trying to go for the YOLO shot during a race is a, is a scary, scary idea. I know a Schlongster just had a big PB like a day or two ago, and Xenernicus said that seeing Schlongster practicing was making him want to practice even more, so... <laughs> Yeah, bit of a, not not the quickest exit since no push, obviously, had to walk across the arena, but lucky for each of the other racers, they both had to do the same slow thing, so. All right, Songster's chance to catch up. Ooh, and he does. I should maybe turn my mic down a little bit. I realize this is a different, OBS setup that I'm usually using, so let me know if uh, if I'm blasting your ears out or if the music should be louder in the game. I can do what I can to, to up it. 
All good? All right, awesome. Also, thank you. My win was followed by a run back, which almost exactly tied my PB. <laughs> so. Now I'm uh, watching the cutscenes with the, you know, the, the sort of letterboxing. I'm just triggered by Schlongster's crop not being <laughs> correct for two weeks because you can see how off it is from Zenerin's. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll point that out to GDO and get that. I keep thinking that the music is delayed because they are so close together. Um, but it is it's Nernicus's audio, not uh, not Schlong's. I don't think we've seen anybody forget to hold B there yet this tournament, but I haven't seen all the races. Uh, <laughs> I know there's been a couple of people who just learned recently that yeah, once Banjo puts his hands on his hips, you gotta hold the B button, otherwise you're gonna be staring at Calden Keep for a second. All right. Oh, Zernicus gets caught by goggles. I definitely remember all the names of the bottles family. Specky is the one who gives you the the Mazo Gaze goggles, right? I hope I'm right. We'll see. I think it's goggles. I could be wrong. <laughs> Alright, we both opt in to walk there, except when the Ugger gets in the way. And a good plateau early from Schlongster. No issues for Zenernicus either. This is, yeah, this is, this is gonna be a close one. This first section is going to come down to how their GGM early goes, mostly. Which I know I've seen Schlongster practicing a bunch. I wouldn't be surprised if we... If Zenern's been... Oh, yep! There goes Zenernicus and Schlongster. They're going to stay this close for the whole race, potentially. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah. I haven't commentated in a while, so I apologize. I'm kind of getting back into talking on stream rather than just kibitzing in chat mode. <laughs> I know, yeah, they're, they're, I feel like, I hope that we have a race where it's just one overtaking the other after the other after the other, because seems very possible. Uh, What do we do when we don't have something to say? We talk about food, right? What'd you have for breakfast? Ah, <laughs> oh, the the Billy Bob missed both of them with the swing the first time, so they had to sort of maneuver around them. Neither of them have trouble getting onto the fuse there, which is nice too, because that's always a I mean, it's usually not a problem, but when it is, you just get stuck because the, the detonator just wants to jump all over the place. If, if you move the control stick the very tiniest amount, then he will sort of shuffle forward and not, not do the little hops that he does when you're holding it all the way, but it's really... Uh, it's really sensitive. Specky is the one with the plane? Oh no! Oh no! It was the other way around. How rude. I've been calling these kids the wrong names this whole time. Someone's gonna come and be like, I knew that already. Like you could have said it earlier. <laughs> oh, a character parade, yep. Hey, both of them got the levitation first try, which is always good. It's one of those things that I feel like you don't you don't have problems with it until you do. <laughs> Which seems like a really obvious thing to say, but it's just, it's not particularly hard to do until you mess it up and then trying to get it back again is, is the hard part. 
Yeah, D knew it. D knew it. She was just hiding, withholding, hoarding the banjo lore. <laughs> I know I've seen Schlongster practicing this next section uh, a bunch the other day. So, oh god, I'm trying to watch both at once. I don't know. Oh no, it's Nernfell. Schlong, how about you? Yep, makes the jump. It's a bit easier to make it when you're just staring straight ahead there for sure. Oh, there was a moment there. <laughs> this Nernig is sort of pulled back to the right at the last second. I thought he was going to be too low, but uh, thankfully no. Alright, no box. Not yet at least. Yeah, gatekeeping. Gatekeeping the character names. Oop. Oh no. And there it goes, just like that. Just like that, Schlongster pulls ahead by the tiniest bit. We are not going to be able to see anything in the uh in this next section from Schlongster because his game feed is so dark. Yeah, Klongo is Klongo is actually the gatekeeper. This is true. Gates of various sizes and shapes. I mean, I guess the first few are kind of the same. Ooh, Znern does the the quick but risky setup for here. Doesn't fall, but does have to do the little second uh, beak bust just to get back up. The scam strat, yeah, the, the strat that saves time unless it doesn't. Now time to feel stressed out looking at looking at Schlongster's feed and seeing. I mean, I guess if you, as long as you can see the you can barely see the chains. <laughs> but yeah, as long as you can see the chains, you <gasps> No. Okay. Okay, this is different. Zernicus, don't do that. <laughs> oh god. <gasps> he was going for the backflip and I was like, "Wait, is that possible? Surely not." <laughs> oh. My god, okay, well that that puts a, a bigger <laughs> Schlong gets the, the stylish bill drill before fire eggs. The classic fluttered a little bit too late and you're not actually on the ground when you're trying to get into Aldrot. <laughs> yeah. There that the the jumping on those lights, it's really hard to know with the right timing that you need to do this, but there are some times where it's like, okay, if you catch that that's not gonna make it, you can flutter and then beak bust, but God, it's such a quick decision to make. Is that, that, okay, oh, that just made it. It seemed like it might be a little low, but it did, it did just hit the bottom of the switch. <laughs> it's caught on the Ugger for a second, but doesn't take damage, probably because the, the cutscene was still, still playing out. I didn't pay attention to what the time was when they were getting out of GGM, so no. Oh yeah, that's how this went for them this time to report here. I guess I could look at their splits. See the secrets. Wait, I probably don't want to look at Poison or... Oh, there's Shulkster. Oh yeah, 10.15. I mean, in a race setting, I feel like getting under 10.20 is, uh pretty good. Keeping in mind that the start was pretty slow because of the- the- what was that- what is this camera angle? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen the camera face out towards the rest of the area. Huh. Okay, first puzzle coming up. Got all the bottom pieces at the top. Classic. And all the top pieces at the bottom. Just where you- nope, not there. <laughs> oh no. Just where you want them to be. That was... Uh, neither of them. Oh, I missed what number he got in the end. Znern got a 90. Schlongster looked like probably... 1027? Yeah, okay. 
It's salvageable still. There's plenty of race to go. 88, yeah, I was gonna say, ugh. Excuse me. I'm dying, sorry. <clears throat> get to wait in anticipation of if we have yet another uh, has to land at the orange Jinjo section. I'm uh, biased, of course, in which races I've been able to watch schedule-wise, but there's been a lot of that, including myself, of course. <laughs> not sure. Oh, Shlong. Not quite making it up the stairs. It feels like it would be faster to jump down those stairs so you don't get that like little slide in the middle of it, but I don't actually know what's optimal there. Lots of little things to consider while moving around, especially with how short this category is. It's interesting, Shlong comes in from like the right and then adjusts to the right rather than left and right. Oh, I thought... Can he save it? Oh no, he's gonna land. Shlong, no! You can just... Oh no! Well, Xenernicus is in the lead again. I didn't see how his went, but it is. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, that should be fine. That was, yeah. It's really useful. It's not the, the quote-unquote backup strat for that. I don't think is really so much of a strat as I, I've heard people mention doing like two flaps to get into position right away. But if you just do one flap and stick to the right, then you'll stay under the vines and can just wait for yourself to lower back into the position again. Nice emotes. I haven't seen any emotes, <laughs> but this is probably because I don't have 7TV installed. Where is the cat? Okay. <laughs> I didn't see the, the cat anywhere. I was uh, slightly concerned for a moment there. Alright, no slumber tragedy that- <laughs> Whittling around to try not to bounce off of him. Yeah, that is a- that is the main reason why I don't have it. <laughs> it drives me crazy. Ah, I should really ask them to get closer together again. It's harder to keep track of what's going on in each race when they're not literally doing the same thing at the same time. <laughs> All right, no issues with this section for Zenernicus. Schlongster's turn now. Ooh, that, yeah. That was a little close. All right, got the Jinjo. And the Jiggy. No problems for either of them. That's always a good sign. Oh, is it Kitten? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> Zenern's ready to shoot some flies back on blue eggs already. I never remember to do that myself. <laughs> Zenern does the, the slow but safe. Oh no, but he misses the treble clef. Well, there's something to even things out again, I guess. He's- oh! Oh no! That was a- alright, he did okay shooting all of those, didn't have to spend too much time lining them up. But Schlong's gonna get this treble clef, which is gonna put him ahead- hmm? Ahead? I mean, we'll see. They're gonna be awfully close, uh, depending on how those flies go. That jump wasn't long enough for him to take damage, but he still fluttered after, <laughs> a 
landing. All right, so the distance has closed significantly. Ouch. And we have code coming up. So who knows who will be in the lead after they come out of this split. I have my, like, hands clutched together. I'm like, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> roo, roo, roo. All the way through the swamp. I hate that when you try to roll right on the edge of the swamp, but you've already had your momentum stopped, so you get the peck instead. So rough. All right. All right, looking at Xenernicus's code. Are we getting first try? Nope. Oh god, I have to keep tracking them both now. Nope, no first try for either of them. Not second try either for Xenernicus. What about Schlongster? This is his chance. They could be synced. They're synced. <laughs> the code. The code evens it out. It puts us all on the same level. It humbles you. Shlong is cheating. <laughs> and now they are nearly synchronized again. The fact that they both went on the last button of the puzzle at the same time is just... Mm. <laughs> now rigging the code, yep. Ooh. Yeah, Znern had a bit of a delay in actually getting that cutscene to start there, so he's ever so slightly behind coming out. Now it's just who's better at moving the bear. Ooh, good save, good save. I don't know why... Ah, uh, Schlongster must have uh, slid off the edge there. If you have the mental bandwidth to think of it in time, you can take your fall damage off of the ledge on that river there and flutter back up to save a little bit if you mess that up. Ooh, that's a little laggy, maybe. <laughs> it's okay. Got more puzzles coming up. Time to see if anyone has a, a tragedy awaiting. You know, I think I was so preoccupied with getting all of the stream stuff set up uh, correctly that I didn't wish them good luck before I moved them out of the call. How sad. It's all my fault if they're both gonna lose. Alright, we're both... There is a time difference, but in the same puzzle at the same time. 88 GGM is... yeah. Ooh, and Schlongster is gonna get a, a low 87. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It is, it is entirely my fault. Curse the razors. Bless the watchers. <laughs> uh... And now we watch a cutscene at the same time because they're too close together to say, well, what's that one doing? Is there gameplay over here? That guy with the butterfly, but gameplay instead. <clears throat> that witchy world time for Znern. It's always fun watching what pieces people pick up and in what order and comparing them to the, the order that you would have picked them up in and trying to figure out if, if you are wrong or if you're both wrong. <laughs> yeah, true. Fast forward through the gameplay, get to the good stuff, the cutscenes. Neither of them had a particularly uh, standout witchy world, I feel like. It was not, not terrible, not amazing. Okay. 
Okay. First of many resets in the next... It's like a... Uh, is it like five or six minutes? Where it's like, reset here. Reset after hitting the, you know, the switch in Widgie World. Reset after JRL puzzle. Like, I swear it's... It is such a short period of time and you re <laughs> reset so many times in it. <laughs> Let's hope everyone goes to the right places when they enter the silos, too. Because I know I had problems with this yesterday. <laughs> Sometimes you just think you're at a different part of the run. You're like, okay, time to go to Plateau to do JRL puzzle. Wait. Alright. The Great Divider. I feel like... I don't know. It's all basically just movement, but the movement in which you- Oh, Zanuri, no! He jumped right into it and he's about to- Okay, no, get the note, get the note! <laughs> oh. The, uh, he fluttered into Witchy World, oh no. <laughs> but Witchy World in particular, I feel like, just that last section, the dive of death and getting on the tent are, uh, particularly- rough platforming sections and it feels like this is this is where they're oh no not the backflip this is where the uh the difference could be made the tent and i got some beef yeah i feel you i feel you something about that tent i don't like the way it looks at me in the middle of the air too, oh no. Oh, and we got another one just there. I apologize, if I sneeze and don't remember to mute, I, if it feels like it's gonna happen. I, hopefully it won't though. Okay, silence. All right. Oh, ooh, sorry. <laughs> I shouldn't be that scared. It's pretty easy to just grab back on. Um, Schlongster makes up a little bit of uh, distance there thanks to that. Also gets into Talon Trot. No bill drills off of the ledge. Schlongster's game feed is so dark. I noticed that mine was too and tried to fix it the other day. I'm gonna have a talk with him. <laughs> All right. Ooh, they're almost synced up at this point. It is the tent that will decide. Oh! Ah, I'm speechless. <laughs> I was just like, oh my god, they're 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 neck and neck. The audio, the cropping, the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> Pay attention the next time they're in one of the cutscenes that produces that letterboxing effect. And you'll see just how funky- oh, that's not gonna make its turn. Yeah, thank you. Just how funky- look at this, look- compare how much wider or taller Schlongsters is. It's just that much more of the game is cropped out. Yeah, both of them had a really clean tent climb to the point where- the, the only reason why they're not perfectly in sync right now, I think, is because that first grenade didn't hit when Znern fire, fired it. It's just a little too low. <laughs> yeah, no. Falcon evening the playing field, making sure everyone knows the strats. <laughs> I tried to learn the tent before my last race, and then I still lost like a good 15 seconds to it, but it was less than probably the 30 or so that I lost my last race, so <laughs> still winning. <laughs> Falcon hoarding strats like he hoards cookies. And now I just want cookies.
Oh, oh. Is Nern gonna catch up because faster puzzle? Oh, uh, actually, no, no. I think I've just been fooled into thinking it was going faster by hearing all the sounds that were happening. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, I'm looking back and forth so much that I miss the actual puzzle finish time, but what can you do? Mm hmm. Yeah, it felt, felt like his was definitely significantly faster once I stopped watching it and started watching Zanern. 70 and 80, 77 and 80, yeah, okay. It is a close race for sure. Like, <sighs> when people are this close together, even when they're pretty far apart, I feel like there's no point in this route where it's like, well, that's it, cause, <laughs> cause Hag 1 could always go terribly. Um, I'm using the OBS full screen preview, yeah. <laughs> I am watching the exact same thing that you are because it puts the game feeds next to each other. <laughs> it's still it's still a lot to take in though, trying to <laughs> look at both at once when they're doing the same thing. Race is good. They're, they've been back and forth uh, like gaining and losing time on each other just the whole time. They both got blue potion at the start and both did the very safe like peck the, you know, peck the Klungo strat. Um, what what else? Oh, uh, Znern got third try coach, Song got second, and they were synced up on pressing the last button of the code. <laughs> Uh, thanks to Znern taking a... No, he didn't take a tumble. He missed the travel clef and had to go back for it and empty. <coughs> and now it's time to see who's more confident in their, their fast swimming abilities. Okay. There we go. Shlong is entering the water, but I'm not going to be able to really tell what's going on because I can't hear the <laughs> Doesn't look like he's having any issues though. I haven't been watching like a hawk, but I I haven't seen too many uh like just pauses. Okay, we're good, we're good. <laughs> I always get nervous the, ooh. Okay, so Nern's dropping fast swim to go through the octopus or just accidentally missed the rhythm there for a moment. No, no disasters with the Inky though. So still going strong. What is that emote? Is that a dinosaur? Okay, it does, it does, it looks like a dinosaur. Maybe a sock puppet. Anyway, my curiosity is sated. The eels will tell all, though. Eey. Both of them having to like swim right past a... <laughs> and getting up without issue. I'm trying to judge, so that's... Yeah, they're still just about three seconds apart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If that's happening right as you're about to enter, then good. Now it's time to find out. <clears throat> Do we both get red potion? And if they do, will they do the fast strat or will they do the egg poop strat? Uh, or will one do one and the other do the other? I mean, green potion is a possibility as well, sure. But I'm, I'm just, 
I'm voting for equality. I mean, I guess they could both get green potion, which would also be equal, but... Don't worry about it. Ooh, Snern caught up a little bit after that section, feels like. Yeah, they're definitely closer than they were before. Ooh. This is this is what's making this tourney exciting, for sure. Is just the how short the category is and how many things can happen to make you just like lose or gain a bit of time over the other I called it! It's it's two red potions. <laughs> Okay, so if Zenern does the fast strat and Slong does the slow strat, then they might be like literally tied now, yeah? <laughs> or maybe Zenern would be a bit ahead, I don't know. I guess we'll see. They're staying in Talentrot, so it seems like they're planning on shooting him. Uh, ooh, I don't like this from. Ooh, okay, no, we're good, we're good. I guess you have more time than I thought. But Schlong. Shalong didn't get him before he jumped. I was too focused on Nern's feed. So it was the other, it was the third possibility that I hadn't considered, which is that, or I guess the fourth, they both go for the fast strat, um, and one of them struggles with it a little bit. Shot him after he landed, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and Znern was just facing completely away from him, but still somehow made the shot. I like these- oh, ooh, yep, yeah, you're gonna need a... I like the <laughs> jumping around on the, the little slope on the wall there. I'm not gonna say anything until after, but... Okay, I don't think either of them had any bonks this race. If they did... I wasn't paying attention. I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure if they had it, it would have been like, oh my god. Yeah, no. So, yeah. Congrats on a uh, bonkless run. <coughs> <coughs> All right, everybody, get your snacks. It's time to watch the cutscene, hydrate, drink some water. water or or tea or coffee or whatever you have on hand if you are not running the game now is probably a good time to dip away for a bathroom break if you need it because really it's just watch this cutscene run to ggm watch the second half of this cutscene again <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah. It's enjoyable for me as well. Just have to sort of warm up, get into the, the swing of things. Oh yeah, and if you enjoy this so much that you'd like to see it happen again, Right after this, we're going to be having a uh, Schlongster versus Falcon racing as well, so even more Tui excitement. If you so please. You can stick around another another hour or so. Well, I mean till the end of that race. They're starting at uh, around... I was about to say one. I don't think that's going to mean much to people watching in chat. <laughs> um, for context, it is 12.44pm for me, so... Rumor has if you sign out of the Xbox profile to skip the cutscene. <laughs> I like the idea of hearing that on the playground in the year 2000 and being like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what, Xbox profile? What does that mean? <laughs> Sometimes I forget that that people were children when <laughs> I 
Nobody's allowed to be younger than me. It just doesn't make sense. What do you mean you didn't grow up in the mid-90s? Nobody's allowed to be older either, actually. It just doesn't make sense. Okay, well, with them as close together as they are... <laughs> no, 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 they can exist. They just have to be the same age as me. <laughs> it's, a, it's an easy, easy change. <laughs> um, yeah. What? Oh. I don't think I've ever seen someone move that slowly in the speed shoes. <laughs> I thought the game was like running in slow motion or something for a sec. Ooh, ouch. Okay. This, yeah, how how they handle this fight will determine the outcome. Shlongster could still easily win, even being a bit behind. Ooh. Zenurn does the quick strat with the grenades, so that does... That's going to win him a bit of time on each cycle if uh, he doesn't have any disasters. But you never know. Such is the uh, the nature of the Hag One boss fight. So far, so good. Using a few extra grenades just because safety. But yeah, if if he keeps doing that without issue, then the the gap is going to widen over time for sure. I'd be ready to to split when the time comes too. Poor guys are gonna be sitting in there going, "I'm done now. What now?" For a while because. They're, I had to pause for so long to get them synced. <laughs> you never know, Zenernicus could need to use three clockworks to blow up the first battery, so anything can happen. Not saying that I hope it does, just... Nobody is safe. Alright, he's gonna have to... Well... One, two, three... There's three more phases that he wants to shoot grenades on. Probably going to be grabbing some extra here. Maybe here? Yeah, there you go. Both of them following the path, getting set up for the last phase. Oh! Zenon's gonna hang out here now. Okay, first clockwork phase. <laughs> Schlongs are just breathing in all of the exhaust standing right behind it. <laughs> Apparently I am the only one who has a problem blowing up the batteries. <sighs> I don't think either of them picked up gold feathers. So they're both just gonna have to jump over the lasers here. Shlong doing a bit of lag reduction, but I don't think that that alone is enough to make up the difference between their egg strats. Sure. Sure. 
I'm just like watching this very tensely. I'm sorry, I don't have much to say now. I'm just like, oh god, oh god. <laughs> All right, entering last few phases. Ooh. Okay, just gonna use fire eggs for this, that's fair. Oh, you need one more, one more. Oh God, oh God. <laughs> that was stressful. Still not quite enough to, to close the gap, but still. <laughs> Ooh, I feel like it would be good to get used to the holding R straight <laughs> for this section, like Schlongster there. It makes it a lot easier to move out of the way without completely losing sight of her. Alright, oh god. I- <laughs> No, don't say that in chat! <laughs> Okay, that's Zanern done. And Schlongster also, wait, wait a second. <laughs> One second. Okay, wait, I gotta mute Zanern before I bring them in, sorry. Otherwise I'm gonna hear myself. GG, both of you. Oh Sorry, I had to mute Znern so I didn't hear myself when I pulled him in. Um, yeah, no what, problem. What GGs. Was your we put GGs. on one hell of a show for you guys. You sure did. Okay, wow. So two seconds apart, it looks like. Damn. I'm seeing a 44.32 <laughs> wow. from Schlong and a 44.30. Actually, 44.32.7 if he split at the right time, and a 44.30.7. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm so pretty much that exactly was, two seconds. Yeah, it was Yeah, so it came down close. to every little mistake. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> it really, really did. What what a race. Uh, you guys were... You should watch it back. <laughs> I will. I, I was were... keeping tabs <sighs> on our uh -huh. on the stream every so often. Just yeah. to know if I had to like play it risky at any point. Mm -hmm. And I thought I might have choked my lead at, after the battery phase. I had a great start to Hag 1, but after battery phase, I kept getting hit. You guys were... And I was were, so scared. You were probably... I mean, you were probably about like one or two seconds apart starting Hag 1. Like maybe a little more, but the, the difference came when you did the the grenade strat so it was like oh, okay Only was quite, strats. yeah you know you save <laughs> you pulled ahead by a good bit but then the very last phase was um you, you guys have anything yeah. you want to say about it <laughs> I, i'm just happy that we uh we got such a close finish yeah. and um i mean my heart yeah, was, was pounding for sure I'm i got sure. one gold on jrl because i oh, nice. was really happy with my swim yeah, so yeah, about the that. swims went well. But yeah. I think so did Schlongster also had a great swim from what I saw. Yeah, I got a gold. It was epic. Nice. <laughs> we have double gold from us in JRL. Yeah. One thing I was very disappointed by was my very start of Witchy World. I had, like, practiced Witchy World oh. movements specifically so much, and then I got, like, they hit, got the hit very by the first fruity. fruity. And, yeah. <laughs> and everything in that level... Well, no, the rope went well, but um, there were a lot of sloppy things in that yeah. level, and I wasn't very satisfied with that. Yeah, both of you guys had a good tent climb. Pulled ahead again. You guys Dude, were in sync doing the tent. <laughs> oh, that's it. It was great. Dude, I still got like a 430 um, mm -hmm. Witchy World by accidentally fluttering um, into the yeah. uh, Witchy World loading zone. That was annoying. Falcon then, called you out uh, on that, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, gosh, fucking damn it. I was kind of switched to uh, grenades. And then... Um, right. uh, there was something else, and I accidentally just kept fluttering sometimes in the level, so that was just, just kind of cringe, but everything else was okay. <laughs> I assume nothing came down to RNG, because I had, like, the well, worst Klungo patterns, and so did Schlongster. Yeah, you both got blue-red. Code, code, you got third try, and Schlongster got second try. You guys pressed the last button of the code sequence at the same time. So Schlong ended on a star, you ended on a moon, and you were there at the same time. <laughs> Completely so I'm so sad that I messed up JSU earlier. 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You I had you had JSG early. In Mayhem as well. You missed I the missed treble. Yeah. yeah. I was like so satisfied that I finally nailed the first three beat bombs. I was like, uh -huh. yes, we're not screwing up the oh. split, and then I missed the treble club. Oh shoot, we need to shout out a banjo runner. Uh, oh god, do you guys have someone you want to shout out? Oh, uh, shout out to Falcon for teaching me in Zenerve. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Falcon. Uh, Falcon. I'm gonna say shout out to Candy Boots. Oh who's yeah. Also in our group and uh, also a D former DK runner or not former, still a DK runner. DK you know family. I mean? DK to banjo pipeline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Falcon teaching everyone how to race each other and then actually how to race him as well. Just oh, a baby. short Let's time from now. Race. Yeah, so Schlongster's <laughs> got another Schlongster. race to do. Zanern gets to... Now you're warmed up. Yeah, he's off the hook. Falcon. Like, it's um, like that South Park meme. That no <laughs> bell. <laughs> so yeah, I am going to switch over to the uh, sort of setup screen here real quick while we get sorted. Um, the stream is not over. We will be back in a bit. Uh, probably a little more than five minutes. We'll see how long it takes me to get the crop and everything. So yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, GG yeah, everybody. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for putting up such a, a incredible close race with me, Slongster. That was exhilarating. Yeah, yeah, man. Thanks for racing with me. All right. Thank you both. That was awesome. We'll be back soon.